now this HTTP post uh, you already know that about okay that is this response is basically we have to check either we are connected successfully with the API uh, that is with the help of our API either we are our flutter application is connected successfully to the server or not that is either we are access, uh, accessing the signup.php code successfully or not with the help of our API so that response will come uh, using inside this variable res so we have to check either our API is working fine or not just like as I told you we have done this in the validating email when we were validating the email the same thing we have done here okay that is we will check that is uh, either the API is connected successfully or not either the response is uh, going and receiving from the server or not okay so we in simple words I have already written this comment that is from Flutter app the connection with API to service if it is successful then it will uh, bring us back the 200 response code status code okay so you already know that so now we can simply say here that is if response dot status code if this is 200 it means the connection is uh, successful API is working successfully and then the result will come which we can decode JSON decode response dot body and we will assign that to response body and this time this is of response body of sign up that is signup.php file okay that's why I'm using the proper name so if that uh, response body response body of signup if that contains the key name let me show to you that is our signup.php if that contain the key name success that is if the sign up is executed successfully and the user record is saved successfully so you know that in case of uh, that is if the query is executed successfully that is if the record is saved successfully to the database then to the key name success we assign the value true otherwise if any error occur that is the user record is not saved successfully then in that case to the key value uh, to the key success we assign the value false okay so success key will have two values it will be either true or it will be false so success okay the same key name we can say if the response body that is this response okay so if you if it is true if it is equals to true then I have already told you guys earlier that is you can also further explain it like this okay it means the same that is if the response body success if the success key value is equals to true then we will display a message to the user that is flutter toast dot show toast we will say that uh, sign up successfully or registered successfully sign up successfully or you can write like congratulations sign up you are sign up successfully just like this otherwise else that is if any error occur then in that case we will say error record error occurred try again just like this and in case if any exception occur then we have to uh, basically display the exception message that is the error message so we can say e e dot to string and if you want you can display this also in a toast message letter toast dot show toast e dot to string this E will basically show us the error message if any error occur that is what error is going on okay similarly 
in case of validating email we have also a catch so if any error occur we want to display that just like this so what we have done now let me just explain this code again first of all as I told you at the start of the video that is when we want to save any record to the MySQL database then we want to, uh, we must convert our user data or any data to the JSON format so in order to convert our data to the JSON format for that purpose we create our user user model class okay and we just implement this code here now how it is working that is first of all to our user model class we pass the uh, values to the required attributes here which is receiving inside here okay so then uh, we communicate with the uh, server with the help of our API for the purpose of registration okay that is sign up sign up.php so with the help of our API we communicate with the server that is we want to execute our sign up.php backend code that is we want to save the new user record to the MySQL database so we communicate with the server and we pass the data to our sign up uh, dot PHP that is this one okay sign up dot PHP which is basically the backend code for uh, saving the new user record to the database to the table users underscore table okay so this code basically uh, to that we communicate that is that code we want to execute with the help of our API we communicate with the server for the sign up and alongside with that we pass the uh, data and as you know in order to pass the data we must pass that data in JSON format only then it will be we will be allowed to save it in the MySQL database so we pass our user model uh, first we convert it to JSON okay we convert our user model that is we convert that data in this format that is it will have a key name and in front of that key name it will have the value then user key name key key name is username okay and the value is inside the username variable which you know we receive one by one to each and every attribute so basically JSON this is the JSON format that is key value format key value format key value format key value format so we convert that to JSON format okay and we uh, pass it in the body okay to the sign up so when we pass it we receive it here that is name email password and we save it to the database we insert it to the database and then we ignore the user ID because our users table has a auto increment feature for the user ID that is ID will be generated automatically auto increment okay a unique ID for each and every user will be created so the data which we which we are passing okay that is the user model the user data which we are passing in JSON format we receive that here for example we get the name from it the user email from it and the user password from it and we assign it to these variables PHP variables and then we insert this data to the database inside the table user table so if this is executed that is if the server is active okay that is if the API is working successfully and if this is uh, executed successfully okay if the query runs successfully first of all let me show it to you okay first we check that is if our let me write this okay that is from the flutter app the connection with the API to servers a uh, server if it goes successfully then which simply means that if the uh, if the response come that is if it is if the query executed successfully that is if the data uh, is served successfully to the database inside the user's table in the MySQL database then the result of query will uh, basically bring us some uh, response that is it will be either true or false so if it is true then we will assign it to the key success if it is false then we al assign the false value to the key success that is sign up is executed that is new record is saved successfully to the database otherwise if any error occur then uh, user record is not saved successfully to the database so with the help of this success we basically uh, get the response okay we get the response that is success will be either true 
or it will be either false so if it is if the success key is value is true then congratulations you are signed up successfully otherwise error record try again so simple and so easy